Hi and welcome to another Fear Friday. My name is Lisa and this is Kindness and Light and I would like to do tonight's series of Forbidden Objects as the Crying Boy painting. Now, the Crying Boy painting was made by a Giovanni Bragoni and he was a picture of a crying boy and it was a part of a series done in the 1950s. Now, the series were of young children who were crying. Weird, right? Why would people want people, you know, to see people's children crying on the pictures? But in the UK alone, it sold over 50,000 copies were made and sold. So these poor children, you know, they were sad, of course. But one boy stood out amongst the series of Giovanni's Bragoni's pictures. Now, among these series, this little boy had such lifelike features, and he was absolutely crying. And people said that you could see his soul through his eyes and he, through this painting. And um, Bragoni only painted a little over 60 paintings, but, you know, with it all being reproduced and uh, replicated and everything over that, um, these paintings just became huge. Um, and he, and they still do them clear up till the eighties. Prints and reprints of his images continued to be mass produced. And the curse of the crying boy became the blazing curse in 1985 in the UK. Now, May and Ron Hall house's house had caught on fire in the kitchen and supposedly it was because of the a pot that was left on the stove but everything burned except the picture of the crying boy now the picture that they had gotten of this little boy was in their living room everything around it was burned up except for this painting odd huh pretty odd that's not the first that's the first story of it that really came out um, Farman claimed that the fire was caused by a pan on the stove, but the Halls swear it was the painting, the little boy that did it. This wasn't the last fire associated with this particular painting. Fifteen other houses <laughs> destroyed everything except this painting, this one painting. Of course, the Halls got rid of it instantly, um, tried to get rid of it, threw it away, whatever along with all of the rubble but um 15 other houses who had the same painting um well replicas of this painting um caught on fire too all over the uk all claiming it was this child's curse because everything got destroyed in these houses except for the painting in surrey a woman lost her house to a fire six months after buying the painting in Kilburn and one person actually tried to burn the painting but it didn't burn and they ended up with an accident and bad luck after that was it this poor crying boy's soul and if it was were manufactured how can its soul be transferred to so many different paintings all having the same reaction of fires in their home destroying things but the painting nottingham a man lost his home and his family was injured during the fire a pizza parlor in northfolk was destroyed including every painting except the little boy the crying boy that were all on the walls in 1985 hundreds of paintings were collected together because people actually thought that this little boy was the reason why it was their houses were catching on fire so they gathered all these paintings together and the fire brigade um had a big giant bonfire and tried to burn them all which you think that if none of them were ever burned they couldn't burn them but supposedly they had this fire a controlled fire that they made sure that these paintings burned 
Theories range why this one painting was cursed. One was the little boy was a gypsy child and the, they placed a curse on the art, uh, artist. The gypsies placed a curse on the artist because he used their um, image, his image. One was a child accidentally set fire to the studio in which he was sitting in, posing for the picture. And the artist who had painted him, the child's parents were killed in that studio fire. And the little boy, of course, was terrorized the rest of his life. Um, where every, the little, okay, he, when he became an orphan, supposedly when his parents died, he became an orphan and they went, anywhere he went to, fire started. He was like a fire starter and people were giving him the nickname Diablo, which means the devil. The boy survived to early adulthood and was killed in an accident in car crash that burst into flames. Now that was weird too. But all of these paintings, if you have one in your home or you've seen one in your house, was there a fire affiliated with them? I don't know. To debunk this theory, now this is weird too. Debunk this theory about this crying child starting all these fires throughout Europe or the UK. The fire brigade said that was all a rational explanation to all the fires, but they couldn't explain why everything was destroyed except the painting. You know, the painting. They didn't understand that. And yes, why would they gather these paintings and burn them in a big bonfire? So in 2010, Steve Punt Punt put a video out on YouTube trying to get the record straight once and for all. And you can watch it. It's Steve Punt and I will put a post on it below. Um, and the film, of course, was filmed by the BBC. There comes a time, he said, severe burned with a little on the end of the fire, which he put a fire and it came up all the way up to the top of the painting, but it never burned the little boy's face. It got a little tiny hole in the right hand corner of it from the fire and then the fire went out. Now, was it made of a fire retardant material? Maybe. Maybe all these had the same material that had fire retardant um, chemicals in it. But was it, uh, how did they burn the fire, how did the fire brigade burn hundreds of copies of it? Maybe the copies that were made with the fire retardant or some kind of chemical on it that makes it sure that it's not burnt, you know, it can't be burned. Um, maybe it was just one batch of all these 50,000 copies, you know, sold. Could have been. One batch was made with this material while the others didn't and they could be burned. So that is the theory of what this gentleman has, Steve Punt, said. But he couldn't figure out why, other than that theory, that he couldn't figure out why the painting didn't burn. Now, is it cursed? Maybe. You know, maybe it was the little boy and who had lost his parents, became an orphan, and died in a car crash. And it burst into flames. Maybe he was like a fire starter or something, you know, with his mind. Um, possible. So I like to say I hope you like the story um, and please come back it will be the next week's version of Fear Friday will be the Book of the Dead and I will be doing that um, if you like these kind of stories and you enjoy Fear Fridays please like and subscribe and hit 
the bell button so you will know be notified next time I have a new video uh, my name is Lisa and this is kindness and light so share some kindness and shine your beacon of light for everyone to see that is in the dark peace